Hi guys. Right, I've just had a real breakthrough actually with the cable running. I'm really impressed with this. So, you know, before when I was telling you that I needed to uh, run a cable from like this area down to here, I've had major success so far. Well, not major success, but we're getting there. So I'm using two sets of fish. Bugger. Using two fish wires um, with the uh, camera strapped like this to the uh, fish wire and what you really want to do I learned this from my father actually because he's, he's a builder and he, yeah, he runs a lot of cables but yeah this really tough uh, fish wire I don't know whether you can see that on camera if it will focus probably not but yeah, it provides some real strength to be able to push through and round the corners and everything. But I just pushed it down there and I saw the other fish wire coming up the other side. So now all I need to do is just put a hook on the end of this and um, yeah, try and find the wire again on the other side, hook it on and then drag it back through. Okay, so this part might be a little bit more for the Hansa 388 and 418 owners, as if you're thinking about installing solar panels on the cockpit roof, this part might be for you. Now, what I started out with is looking on the Hansa forum, actually, and what they recommended was running a cable, so this is where the battery area is. What they suggested was going up through this hole, uh, coming along here, and then moving up into this area and then making the way towards the the lights and towards the middle there. Um, this wasn't really an option in my case because I looked in this area and then I was completely blocked. Uh, I could not get through this area because there was no more room for cables and also there was some glue there uh, stopping me from getting any more cables through. So the next and best option in my opinion was actually to go up from the batteries behind the control panel in the saloon up through this hole, uh, up this way around the double bend there where the uh, windows are on the coach roof uh, and through up through here and then into this area here where I can access this cable um, through these uh, light holes here. Uh, from there, I could actually run the first cable to the middle solar panel all the way through here and then go above the coach roof and then straight to that solar panel. The next solar panel is already going to be here because that's going to be on the port side. And then the last solar panel I could actually run through here. Uh, and there is a small channel here. Again, it's a bit of a pain in the backside to get a cable through there, but it's, it's possible. You can run it straight through here and then into here and then I think I went through this light fitting just to grab the end there. Although this video only shows a fraction of the time I spent running these cables, I, I reckon I probably spent about 8 to 10 hours just fiddling and pushing and pulling and everything and it just requires a whole lot of patience to do. But it's worth it in the end. If you can get the shortest cable run for your solar panel cables, it's the best as you'll lose um, the least current uh, with the least resistance on the wire also. I'm going to leave that there because I can see well. I'm going to get the other one to meet it. I've got the hook on the end. Hopefully gonna, they're going to meet together. We'll see. <laughs> you see this? I just gotta get that hook on there and then I'm golden. So happy about this. This is like, hang on, don't count your chickens, Chris. Come on. Do not count your chickens. Okay, now we try from this side. Come on. Almost there. Come on. A little longer than a few minutes later. Oh, I'm just going to maneuver it just a little bit. Uh, Alright guys, I need two hands to do this, but you see my predicament. <laughs> yes! Yes! We've got it guys. We've got it. Look at this. 
You see that hook on the end of that hook? I'm happy with that. Don't you dare let go. Okay, let's hope this hook's strong enough now. Success. So now, all I need to do is put the string on the fish wire and I have a mouse wire there. I'll probably put I'll probably put two strings on there just in case, you know, but uh, that's awesome. Well, hello little string. How are you? Look at this guys. This is the string dance. <laughs> ah. That was a little bit of a mission, guys, I've got to be honest, but... Fish wire, in combination with this awesome cam, it's uh, made by Rotec, I think it's only about 25 pounds or uh, like 30 euros or something like that. Uh, you just got to make sure you don't run out of batteries with it, it lasts about two hours, I guess, an hour and a half, two hours, but that's perfectly fine. You can plug it in also. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to this thing, but this thing is so useful. Uh, I got the string in, so I can just leave the string in now, and I'm ready to run cables um, as soon as that project starts. Happy days. It's another day and uh, now I'm on to just uh, running the wires through. I bought some wires yesterday. Uh, you've got to make sure the kind of marine grade if you do this, um, but there's a fairly long cable run. It's not too long, but it's long enough for me to warrant uh, buying the 6mm squared uh, cable. Uh, I don't want to lose uh, that much current or that much um, energy due to the resistance of the wire or something like that. So I've just gone with a thicker cable. Anyway, we are a little bit of the way there. Um, I've already got one cable through from here, uh, across to here, and then the next stage is going to be going down uh, along the ceiling and down through the side of the boat, which I've already got strings there for. Um, I'm running two strings as well, or mouse, mouse wires or whatever, and then I'm just going to leave those two strings in there um, forever more, to be honest, so that if I ever need to run any cables or anything, then I know that those strings are there ready to go and it's going to be so much easier next time. Anyway, um, yeah, let's get to uh, pulling this one, shall we? Sometimes it can get stuck, that's for sure. It's a very tight space in there. It's not easy, I may have to send the camera up again, to be honest, to see where it's getting stuck. could take a while it's never as easy as that right <laughs> more tape needed on that string I've got one more string guys <laughs> if I lose another one I'm screwed I've got to bind this very tightly around there and very strong to the to the wire um, to the string otherwise I'm gonna lose that that last lead I've got through there. Um, I can always run off this cable again, but that's really not ideal. Okay guys, about half an hour later, we have succeeded in getting the cables from here across to here. So that'll serve the uh, starboard side uh, solar panel up here. I'm gonna put a 50 fo 55 watt long one up there. Um, now we need to take the cables from this light uh, all the way down the side here and then straight down through the panel and down to there. Um, I've been reading the Hansa forums actually and some other people with the Hansa 418 have um, uh, gone back and then around the toilet and then all the way back around the to back of the toilet and in. Uh, I think that's a good idea also but I'm trying to shorten the cable length so I was really trying to find a route um, down from these lights all the way down the side and yeah, down to the battery banks, uh, just down there. So that's the shortest possible cable route. And like I said, if you have a Hansa 418, now you know there's a route down here. Uh, it's a little bit difficult, but there is a way, trust me. So, yeah, just got to route those cables and just get it done. Top tip, guys. 
If you're running two cables at a time with a piece of string, then wrap the piece of string around the wires because then that will uh, grip the string better and the string won't slip between the two wires. Just attached another string to go through just so that you have it for next time. Make sure you tie it off on both sides as well. Otherwise, you can quite easily end up just um, accidentally pulling it through <laughs> and not being able to reach it again and then you're going to start all over again. So just think about what you're doing when you're doing this. I know it sounds like really basic information, but trust me, I've made so many mistakes in the past. But the most annoying thing is losing the tape every single time I put it down. I put it somewhere different and you can't find it again. Like, yeah, there it is. <laughs> One good thing to also mention, top tip, is label your cables. Uh, otherwise you don't know which one is which. I've just put uh, little marks around the ends of the cables. Uh, I need to get some proper labels in place, but that's for later on. I've got uh, two solar panels here, the wires for two solar panels on this side and then the wires for another solar panel on this side so left enough length uh, just in case I have to do something weird getting the wires uh, in and around around there I haven't quite got a solution for that but uh, yeah We're coming down here gonna tidy that up a bit later in there and then just straight into here. So I hope that was some good information for you about running solar panel cables around the boat. Now my takeaways from this is the following. Rule number one, work smarter not harder. So if you're trying to force these uh, fish wires really hard through a space, think twice about that because if you're getting them in really hard and then they catch on something uh, on the end, you, you're going to get them stuck. Now this is the worst possible scenario because you end up with a, a stuck steel wire in there. Even if you cut it, all right, that thing is going to vibrate with the engine, uh, with everything, and you're going to hear that possibly forever more. So try not to get these fish wires stuck and you won't get any issues there. Rule number two, make sure everything is really securely bound together. So if you're taking the fish wire down with a cable or a string or anything like that, make sure they're bound together really well and nice and thin as well so that they can get through the smallest spaces. Otherwise you're going to end up again with the same problem where things get stuck or even worse, what happened to me is I got almost all the way there and started pulling it back and then the hook just came off the end. Rule number three, get two fish wires, okay? It's better to run one fish wire one way and one fish wire the other way and link them together sometimes, especially if you're doing complex parts, round corners and you have to really force it through. Um, it's better to just join them together. Um, using the camera, you can hook them together as you saw I was doing and then you can pull uh, the other side through. Make sure then that you um, attach a, a string to the other end so you get the strings there ready to pull the cables. Uh, that's the way I did it at least. And rule number four guys is have patience. This job can take a hell of a long time although it looks kind of simple in the video that I just did. Like I said before it takes many many hours to find the right routes sometimes and get the cables through but it's uh, really rewarding when you get the cables through you see them come through where you want them to be and you didn't have to drill any extra holes and make any extra conduits and things like that so just have patience you'll get there and just keep prodding and poking until you until you get that fish wire through and then angle it in different ways as well so sometimes it might be best to go horizontally with a fish wire sometimes best uh, vertically or so. I hope that helped guys, um, that was my experience running the solar cables. What more can I say? Good luck in your project doing it and I'm really happy that I did it in the end. Anyway, that's enough for this tech video. See you next time. Thanks guys. Bye now.